Hey folks, it's Barry here from My Virgin Kitchen. I'm back in the Tasty Tenor Kitchen. If you are not subscribed already, feel free to hit the button up there. But if you are subscribed, welcome back. Today we have got a cheese and ham tear and share bread. What a stonker. Give it a go. <laughs> So what we've got to do first of all is cut up our cob. We're going to do like a nice zigzag approach on it. So grab your knife and do like one inch apart, cut nearly all the way down in one strip first of all. And just go a little bit, just a teeny smidgen away from the bottom. You do not want to go all the way in there. And about another inch in, all the way down, work your way all along that first strip. It's kind of like doing a Hasselback potato. I don't know if you guys have ever tried that recipe, uh, but basically you want to make sure it all holds together because if you cut it in the middle, your loaf's just going to go like that, okay? So that's that bit done. Basically, all you need to do now is go like that, 90 degrees, and then repeat that exactly the same process. Now, obviously with it being cut that way, it's going to be a little bit more tougher to cut it. So get a good strong grip on it and go down again. And what you're going to do as you work along is you're going to create little squares. All right, so that is my final cut done, and you can see I've got loads. I kind of like, like it. It's like a cool, funky shape. Loads of squares in there, and when we pull it apart, there'll be cool gaps. So we're going to use our ingredients to force that open. Speaking of those ingredients, we need a big old bowl right now, and we're going to combine our remaining ingredients apart from the cheese and ham. First up, 100 grams of melted butter. In that goes. This is two tablespoons of chopped onion. In this goes. Oh, yeah. A tablespoon of poppy seeds. You might want to save some for later as well, right at the end for some extra decoration. This is some freshly chopped parsley, probably about two tablespoons there, or a good handful. It's always hard to measure in handfuls so everyone's got different size hands, okay? So not incredible Hulk size hands, just normal hands. And then the Dijon mustard, so about a tablespoon of that. You can adjust this to the strength of your liking. So the only other ingredients we've got left are our Gruyere cheese and the ham. We'll leave that just for the minute. But what we're going to do is mix this all together, get it all nice and combined. The smell is wonderful. It was wonderful. I don't use that word often, but it is wonderful. Anyhow, so this cob of bread, we're going to get quite dirty with it in a minute. So we're going to put it on some foil, which will come in handy later. And all we're going to do is grab our filling. You need to be quite generous with it. It does get messy. I quite like to get my hands in, but if you want to use spoons, you can. And just open up the gaps and start to push the filling and down every strip. So both ways, push it all the way in there to help push it out, OK? It might take a good five, ten minutes to do, but trust me, it'll be worth it. So all I'm going to do, I'll start with the cheese first of all, uh, open it up and literally push it down as far as you can into all those gaps to work it down there and do the same exactly uh, with your ham. We're going to wrap it in the foil now, get it all nice and completely wrapped in there, kind of like Christmas Day, wrapping your Christmas presents up. Want it completely sealed. Now that's going in the oven for 20 minutes just to warm it through, get all those ingredients going. Okay, folks, it's been 20 minutes and it's smelling fantastic. I've actually let it stand here for five just so I can touch uh, the foil. But if we pull it back here, you'll find that the bread has softened up some more so you can really get into those nooks and crannies even more. So what I'm going to do again is just push more cheese and ham into those gaps. And then all we're going to do is return it to the oven, uncovered in foil for 10 minutes, and it'll come up looking fantastic. All right then folks, it has been 10 minutes. Oh my goodness, this smells so, so good. Just sliding it straight out onto my board there. I'm gonna let it cool down a teeny weeny bit. Can't get my fingers in there straight away, but it does uh, deserve a picture on Instagram. That is looking amazing. So guys, if you have a go at this, send us your attempts on Twitter or Instagram, tag us in the pictures, and we'll see you next time. She don't play around